Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to find all the tables with identity column in SQL Server database. This is really important. You want to understand from where you can get the information about the objects you are creating. And so many time you will encounter where you will see want to feel or want to understand oh, okay I created this table I created this identity column is this a identity or not so think about that I'm connected to the one of the SQL server instance and I am using tech brothers IT database I have different tables and one of the table I have created called the customer table and I see that customer ID is integer type and I have identity property on that so great now let me go and see if I can find uh, this property on the table uh, so DBO customer I open it columns I do not see anything uh, on here something saying identity or not uh, let me go to keys uh, so I don't see on the keys as well okay constraints no triggers no I mean these are irrelevant even these things uh, so we do not see any information uh, here saying okay this column is uh, identity column uh, one way to find it I can do it I right click on the table say script as and create new query once I will generate the script I will see okay which column is defined as identity so I can take a look from there but in case I have to find all the tables which has the identity key or don't have the identity key then I'm not gonna right click on hundreds of table and script out and keep finding so uh, that's uh, going to take a lot of time let me close this window okay uh, let's uh, go to the uh, table properties one more time and see if that tells us somewhere like okay I have identity a uh, column and uh, what is the name of the identity I don't see here customer okay it does not say any column here and the permission is irrelevant uh, we even don't need to go to these places uh, to find identity column uh. so you see that uh, straightforward way looking at the table you don't see if uh, the identity column is defined or property is defined on this table or not but there are system views uh, that can give us uh, all that information real quick uh. so we need to uh, get used to or start learning those system of views uh, or system tables uh. first of all if uh, I'm interested uh, to get all the table from the database I can use select asterisk from sys data tables so this view is going to return me all the tables sorry and I can see every table I can uh, in the database is shown uh, right here and uh, you can see table description user table if you want to filter it you say okay oh, show me only the table uh, uh, type where table uh, sorry where type description is uh, user table where type underscore description is a user but right now we see all of them are user tables so great run it we get that next uh, we need to get the columns so I'm going to use sys dot columns table sorry view system view so we got that all the information there are so many uh, columns are available um, that it is returning but we are interested in a very few and one of them is a customer ID so I'm going to use that copy and say where name is equal to this uh, customer ID so give me the columns of where they are customer ID so if I run this one now it should return me the customer ID column information and from here I can see further things oh okay so is identity is enabled so I can see this column but how I'm supposed to know this customer ID belong to which table so this object ID that is your uh, table name so we can use the built-in function such as uh, say select uh, object name that's a built-in function that accept uh, the object ID if you will provide that uh, then it is going to return you the object name so let's run that one and we see that uh, um, table is returned that's great so what we can do if I run this query I have the table here and here in this one I have the object ID from object ID I can get the object name so I can use these two ones and join them so let's write a joining uh, statement say uh, from sys.tables what I need I need two things 
I need a table name and I can get the schema so um, let me see if I will say select uh, uh, asterisk from sys uh, dot tables I'm going to call this one or alias this one as a T and uh, I can use this T with the here I can say T dot name as table name and uh, then I can say schema underscore name and schema ID this is going to return us uh, the schema name so you see I have the ID but I don't know what is the name of the schema so I can use the schema name function when I will pass the schema ID it is going to return me the schema name so I will put T as well here now as the table schema okay this is good so we have the table name and table schema but we need uh, we need uh, the identity column and uh, if the identity is enabled or not so we can do something like this inner join uh, inner join uh, sys dot uh, columns uh, and say c on uh, c dot uh, if you remember uh, we had uh, from here we have id we do not have a name uh, so what i'm going to do i'm going to call this one object underscore name by using this function and then I will say um, c dot object underscore ID so you see I translated uh, the ID into the object name uh, is equal to what t dot name uh, that's my table name uh. so see here we have the table name so object name uh, is uh, going to use the ID and give us the object name and equal to t dot name so that is coming from sys dot tables uh, once we join them uh, we'll get uh, the tables are where we have joining condition and uh, I'm going to do one more thing in the where class I will say C dot name as column name now it is going to return us uh, schema name schema name column name and table name but one condition we have to put more remember we have is identity column available in uh, uh, sys dot columns so I'm going to use where c dot is identity is equal to one I don't care about all the columns I want to get only the columns on which identity is enabled so I will run this one and now you see I get these tables on which I have identity enabled so you see that here is our customer customer ID here is our customer designer table employee and employee table and even they are in different schema so you see in the TB schema we have employee table so if I will go and check employee table here I can right click script out and say create it should have the identity call uh, property in, see on the EMP ID that's exactly we are returned here so by using a sys dot tables and sys dot columns we can get that information in this video we learn how to get the schema name from the schema ID by using schema name function how to get the object name from the by use, uh, object name function uh, and uh, once we provide the object ID to the object name function we get the object name in our case we were getting table name and uh, how to join uh, we use inner join inner join only give us the matching records from both tables uh, and we also know that uh, sys dot columns uh, is the uh, system view that contains one column called is identity and uh, it, the value is the one that means uh, the identity column uh, that is the identity column or uh, uh, identity property is enabled on that uh, column so I have this uh, query already uh, on uh, tech brothers IT and if you go to the SQL server T SQL tutorial and uh, then uh, we are learning chapter 5 about the tables and columns and uh, uh, that's where it is uh, uh, number 12 how to find all tables in database which has identity column so if you click here the query is there you can use it and learn it uh, thanks very much for watching this video and spending time with me and I hope uh, you learned some good stuff from here I will see you guys in the next video